Welcome to the spoken tutorial on overview of R and R Studio. In this tutorial, we will learn about R programming language, applications of R, about R Studio, and topics covered in this series. This tutorial is recorded on Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04, R version 3.4.4. R Studio version 1.2.5033 It is recommended to install R version 3.2.0 or higher. To follow this series, the learner should have knowledge of basic mathematics and statistics. Let us first see what R is. R is a programming language developed by Ross Ihaka and Robert Gentleman in 1993. R is used in statistics, data analysis, and machine learning algorithms. It is a free, liber, open source software. Some of its salient features are R provides support for both procedural programming and object-oriented programming. R can be integrated with other programming languages like C, C++, Python, Java, etc. R is capable of effective data handling and storage. R has more than 10,000 packages in its repository. R is cross-platform compatible. R facilitates complex operations with vectors, arrays, and data frames. R has a community support of AVID developers. R is extensively used in fraud detection, especially in the finance and banking sectors. Social media analysis to discover potential customers in online advertising. Healthcare to perform preclinical trials and analyze the drug safety data. E-commerce companies to analyze the purchases made by customers. Now we will learn about some of the companies that use R. ANZ Bank ANZ Bank, the fourth largest bank in Australia, uses R for credit risk analysis. It also uses R to fit models for mortgage loss. Facebook Facebook uses R for exploratory data analysis, experimental analysis, etc. It also uses R for analyzing user behavior like status updates and profile pictures. Google Google uses R to calculate a return on investment on advertising campaigns. It also uses R to improve the efficiency of online advertising. Let us now see the home page of R. This is the home page of the R project for statistical computing. Here we can download R. Under the section R project, click on About R. This will tell us more about R and its environment. I will scroll down the page. Under the section Help with R, click on Getting Help to know how to get help. Now we will see the command line interface of R. I have already installed R on my machine, so I will launch R from the terminal. Press Ctrl, Alt and T keys on the keyboard to open a terminal window. Now in the terminal, type capital R and press Enter. The command line interface of R opens. In the terminal, scroll up. Notice that R version 3.4.4 is installed on my machine. Now scroll down. Here we can type the commands to be executed in R. As an example, we will evaluate the value of 10 raised to the power of 0 0.1. Type 10 caret sign 0 0.1 and press enter. The expected value is being displayed on the R terminal window. Now we will learn about R Studio. R Studio is an integrated development environment for R. It includes a console and an editor. It provides tools for plotting, debugging, and workspace management. Let us now see the home page of R Studio. There is a lot of information about R Studio on this page. You can go through it in detail later. 
Now let's get familiar with the RStudio interface. I have already installed RStudio on my machine. So I will launch RStudio using the terminal. Press Ctrl, Alt and T keys together to open a new terminal window. In the terminal type RStudio and press enter. RStudio is launched. In the left panel of RStudio we can see the console window. In the console, R is waiting for us to type a command. Let us draw a simple pie chart. In the console window, type P, I, E and in parentheses 1, colon, 5. Press enter. The expected pie chart is generated in the plots window. Apart from this, we have environment and history tabs. Here all the used variables and commands are stored. In the bottom right panel of RStudio, we have the Files tab. Click on the Files tab. It shows the current working directory. We will learn about other tabs later in this series. Let us now have a look at the content that will be covered in the R series. These two tutorials will teach how to install R and RStudio on Linux and Windows OS. These five tutorials will cover the basics of R, data frames in R and RStudio. We will also learn how to store and analyze our data frames. These three tutorials and the next three tutorials will teach the basics of using data frames and lists. Next we will learn how to visualize our data using simple plots and charts. These two tutorials will teach how to draw histograms, pie charts, bar charts, etc. After this we will see how to customize our plots using the ggplot2 package. These two tutorials will teach how to use the functions available in the ggplot2 package. Then we will learn how to manipulate our data using the dplyr package and pipe operator. These three tutorials will teach how to use the dplyr package and pipe operator. At last, we will learn how to use conditional statements in R and to create user-defined functions. Later on, we may add a few more advanced level topics in this series. Please visit this series at regular intervals for the latest updates. This completes the overview of spoken tutorials on the R series. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about R programming language, applications of R, about R Studio and topics covered in this series. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSSI team will answer them. The spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in the link. The FOSSI team coordinates the coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Sudhakar Kumar and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.